This RV is two stories tall and has three bedrooms. What is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day today here at General RV in Ocala, Florida. Today I'm checking out all kinds of cool RVs, but this two-story travel trailer caught my eye. I've been trying to film a two-story travel trailer ever since I started this YouTube channel and I've never had the opportunity. Now today we hit the jackpot because not only did we find one two-story travel trailer, but they've got three of them. And today I'm hanging out with the world's most famous RV salesman. Oh, oh we're back, we're back. What's good, buddy? Great to see you again now. We're back at General RV in Ocala. Big congratulations to Matt. So Matt's out here showing me a bunch of different RVs, all kinds of different stuff. I don't know what the heck I want. I'm RV shopping, but I caught, what happened, Matt? One thing leads to another, next thing you know, it's not every day you see a two-story, three-bedroom travel trailer, so we gotta take a look at it. You think we can take a look at all three? Yes. Now, Matt's gonna do a full tour on this RV, on his channel, showing all the features. That's gonna be on Matt's RV's Towables channel, but we wanna do a quick comparison showing you the insides of these three deals. Holy smokes, I can't believe how tall these ceilings are. There's something right here. Yes, does sir. this come with the coach? What, what, what's it, going on here? It sure does. This is our own brand of RV toilet treatment. It's called Liquefied because it takes your waste and it liquefies it. Orange scent inspired by the Matt's RV Reviews team. Andrew, I put my whole life savings into this. If you guys want some, go to liquefiedrv.com. Really excited for you, Matt. Come but... Andrew Steele. Hey, absolutely. Now, this this fifth wheel, it's like we're in a, a building. This does not, this this is unlike any RV that we're looking at. So what are we looking at? This is 2023. How silly is that? What? That's funny. If you guys watch Matt's RV reviews, three things I like, three things I don't like. The lights are on, but Andrew, they're the push buttons. How are you supposed to push them in a double-decker travel trailer? Are you serious? They're push buttons? <laughs> yeah. No way. <laughs> Hold on. Hold hang, on hang, hang on, hang on. Hold the camera. No, the man, the myth. No way. There's no... <sighs> Definitely push buttons. Now I'm dropping stuff. Uh, so, okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, now Matt, this is, this is a total residential style feeling here. Unlike anything. Now, the first thing I want to point out, I really like is the diamond stitching. Now, yeah. you're gonna do three things you like and three things you don't like on your channel, but show us around here. Yeah, so we call this a travel trailer, but it's not. It's a destination trailer. This isn't made to be traveled in. It's made to be towed and then parked at a lake somewhere or something like that. I absolutely love these windows right here. Let's in so much natural light. The tall ceilings is great. Nice rear entertainment center. Coming on here, we have an awesome kitchen, kitchen island residential style nice big fridge right here and then over here we do have your table and chairs again the nice big windows what a lot of people do is with this nice sliding door they'll make a patio right here you know what i'm saying and again this isn't made to be traveled a lot it's made to go from the dealership to the campground and maybe towed back for service something like that so three bedrooms, two stories. You want to show us around the bedroom areas here? Yeah. A little half bathroom here. Full bathroom. Oh, full bathroom in the middle of the coach. All right, gets the job done. And then Andrew, you don't see stairs in those Prevos, do you? No, sir. Well, hold on, we're gonna show them upstairs in a second. Oh. But let's go back in here. And it looks like this has got, uh, it looks like a full king size bed. Now, while I'm checking this out, I mean, this mattress is pretty nice, but you know, it's definitely not as nice as the Brooklyn bedding mattress that I have at home. And Matt, you've got a Brooklyn bedding mattress in uh, your RV and your house as well? It's one of the best sleeps I've ever had, not only in, in my house, but in my RV as well. Brooklyn bedding mattresses are made in Arizona, so made in the USA. They're known for their high quality, and they have all different firmnesses and different sizes that fit different styles of RVs. And we all know that most of the mattresses that come in these RVs are not the best, so if you get an RV, you owe it to yourself to step up to a Brooklyn bedding mattress. They've got a 10-year warranty, a 120-night sleep trial, and free shipping directly to your door anywhere in the United States and it's very easy to unbox so you don't have to mess around going to mattress stores. 
I got my parents set up with a firm Aurora mattress and they liked it so much that they ordered one for their home as well. Now, if you wanna get a Brooklyn bedding mattress, you can visit rvmattress.com. I'll leave a discount code in the description below. So a huge thanks to Brooklyn bedding, rvmattress.com for sponsoring today's video. So, so Matt, what else is going on in this bedroom? Andrew, nice bedroom. There's actually another bedroom above this one, but still, we still got plenty of head height and everything. Yeah, I'm I'm 6'2", still a good amount of head headroom here. Yep, we got storage right over here. Again, going on with the themes in the front, huge windows throughout this whole thing. Not only that, this is prepped for a stackable washer dryer. Nice. Right over here, we have more wardrobe space. And again, this feels like a normal travel trailer or a normal fifth wheel in terms of bedroom. So it's hard to believe that there's actually an upstairs. And there is another door to the master bedroom right here. Like that. And big Central window. Back. I like the window in the hallway here. A lot of times they just leave those hallways kind of closed out, but you know, you want to enjoy that nice view of your patio side. All right, here we go now. All right, so we got a room to the right and a room to the left. Andrew, this bedroom number two. Look at this, you got these nice teddy bear mattresses. It's definitely not an RVmattress.com mattress. Really good space in here. Here's what I will say. I can sit up on this side, no problem. I'm not feeling closed in, I'm not feeling claustrophobic. I got a TV space over here. And then you even have big wardrobe space right here. Nice. How do you feel in here? Now the headroom is a little bit low, but I want to point out here, if you want to hold that, I'm actually going to crawl into this bed. I like the windows up here too, so you've got a window with an emergency egress exit here. But I'm pretty tall. Now, immediately this is not, this. you can see my feet hanging over the edge. So I would immediately call, get on RV mattress. <laughs> yes. I mean, honestly, no right. Get on and, and get myself a taller mattress because they've got all those different sizes of mattresses. But I like that this, the, the build out permits longer mattresses if you do want to step that up like matt says usually this isn't going to be for the paying customers this is for the non-paying non -paying customers. customers so let's but still out. andrew real quick you're yeah. sitting on your butt no sit up yeah right like like you're still good if i was a kid i would yes. have been so this is definitely for the kids like and it's actually kind of like exciting it's like a ford up here or something so right now let's let's cruise over here across the hallway here across the staircase now this is for your middle child. Yeah, yeah, this is for, you know, the kid, you know, whoever was 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 loud on the car ride home or misbehaving, this is probably going to be the bed that they're going to get. Now, they do have a nice little view over the living room, but and I'm still I'm 62. I actually have plenty of space and I really like that there's a little curtain right here that they can pull that around. Ah, uh, yeah. People are still kind of up and active and they want to put the kids to bed. So USB ports, let me uh, see that real quick. Uh, USB ports, outlets, little cubbies here, I like that. And then kind of a nice view overlooking oh, that Andrew, living room. Oh, Andrew, can you reach that light right there? Now, most people up here aren't gonna have... Uh, no. Oh man, too far away. Yeah, we try, so. Yeah. All right, now, for the three likes and three dislikes, make sure to subscribe to Matt's RV's Towables. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Full, full review coming soon. But Matt, let's see one of those other trailers. How much dough does someone need to become the next owner of this coach we just looked at? Well, it's a 2023, it just came in. That's why I don't have a, an official video at the time of this recording. But MSRP is $93,180, MSRP. Everybody knows we don't pay MSRP. So if you're interested in this RV or any RV, go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash, fill out that form. That's the way General knows you're a viewer of Matt's RV Reviews, AKA Andrew Steele, or any YouTuber, and then we'll be able to get you a great price. If I had to guess though, I, I'd say you'd be able to get this somewhere in the 70s. Nice, that's yeah. a lot of equipment, especially if someone just wants to, I mean, I would almost even use this as like, put it on the side of my house and utilize it as like a guest house. It's, people could really sleep comfortably, but let's see this other one. Now, this is gonna be the Keystone Residence. So the first one was the Forest River Salem Grand Villa. And this is a 2023 as well. Now this one over here, this last one that we're gonna look at is the absolute big daddy. I can't wait to see inside of that Keystone Residence. So this is the 40 Loft. 
really like the styling inside of this I coach. Like this one better. Yeah, definitely the styling, the colors. Yeah. You've got that kind of like a almost like a wine cork and then matte black cabinets with a brass brass hardware and light colored countertop. Sorry, man, I'm excited about this one. What's oh, up? It's beautiful, man. I'm soaking it in. I like how the lights are on and I don't need to push them. Um, I like so. Keystone has been doing an amazing job. They hire somebody in 2021 and they're, they're just blown away the competition when it comes to their interior decors. I'm talking the Arcadia, the Montana, the Cougar, this brand, like everybody's kicking butt and taking names. And I feel like they're really listening to the customers when it comes to the decor choices. Yeah. Well, let's see the two bedrooms here and I want to get to that next one here. So we're going to go through this one really quickly. Oh, nice. interesting. Oh, radius shower. Real tall uh, shower, too. I want to just point out how much headroom you have here in your bathroom. And I love the texture on this door. Beautiful styling. See, now this one makes more sense because you're able to have that door open. Uh, if you noticed on the other one, that door didn't open all the way to where the washer and dryer would be. Yep. King size bed, really nice. RVmattress.com, RV Brooklyn bedding, com. definitely worth stepping up. But I like this little area too, how you have a little countertop space and some drawer space, wardrobe back there. But let's go check out the uh, yeah, second out story house. here. All the way up. So this is going to be another good sized room. Now, it looks like you guys are going to definitely have to call RVmattress.com to get a second mattress here because it's missing one. Oh yeah? What do you think, man? Well, I mean, if you got to buy two mattresses, you might as well use my promo code at the same time. Hey, there burr, it is. Burr, burr. <laughs> so, but, you know, again, plenty of room, real length. Now, I'm going to sit up here. Yeah. I think that other one had a little bit more headroom. Mm, okay. So usually it's going to be the kids up here, but let's go check out that other two-story rig there. So the one in the middle appears to be a little bit shorter. I'd say a lot shorter. A lot shorter. Let's go inside and just see what's going on. I'm so curious all right so you've got a few different entrances here oh, so this is a front bedroom floor plan yes sir this one has a little bit of a curve up to the back but i think this unit is going to have a higher roof along the entire perimeter so what's going on in here man it almost feels a little smaller in this living room doesn't it it's not as long but it's taller definitely taller taller ceilings same beautiful styling like you said this designer just knocked it out of the park this they, is the same really colors did. right and then the restroom right here nice good size restroom and then same thing so the master bedroom on this is actually gonna be a little flip because you're gonna have a walk-in closet right here not quite a walk-in closet but i don't see that washer and dryer hookup and then wardrobe over here and then you have this countertop space with all the storage under here along the front of the coach with those huge windows. I do like that, but let's see what's going on on level two here. Yeah, I'm trying to get the lights on So this on is for a you. three bedroom. The, the last one we looked at was only a two bedroom. Yeah, this one's three. Okay. I think this has a little bit more, um, I feel like this one's more on par with the first one. Uh, the first one was Forest River, second one was Keystone. This one's Keystone designed like that Forest River. You know, same head height. You know, I got plenty of space in here. You got a nice TV bracket. Storage right there. Andrew, I mean, really, really nice. Only thing it's missing is those new Brooklyn bedding mattresses. I know. From rbmattress.com. And then this is like we saw in the first. Now, one, I'm not going to complain about it, but I just wish it was kind of finished out. I'd rather have it look like jail bars than, you know, for, you know, God forbid a toddler somehow climbs over that and falls in the middle of the night so that's kind of a complaint i have i'd like to see that you know totally it'd be kind of hard to happen but i'm just a little paranoid what do you think Matt? am i too paranoid i think you're the representative i can neither confirm nor deny now these are the brand new 2023 so i'm honored that i got a first look before you so yeah, no i mean it's my first time being in these um you know i try not to look at them until it's time to review them that way you know i you're getting my first take when I do it. But yeah, I mean, this is all good stuff. Andrew Steele exclusive. Hey Matt, really appreciate you. Now, if someone's a serious buyer and they want to buy one of these trailers, who can they get a hold of? Me, go to mattsrvreviews.com, click the contact tab. That's going to take you to General RV, 
slash Matt's Cash. That's always the best way. Uh, we have a team dedicated to Matt's RV Reviews customers and obviously Andrew Steele customers. Any YouTube customers works with our special team and we're here to get everybody the absolute best price in America. And also make sure you pick up uh, Liquefied. It's gonna be on Amazon or how can they get your new toilet chemical? Yeah, so go to liquefiedrv.com um, and that will take you to the Amazon listing. If it's for sale by the time this video is out, if it's not, it will take you to a Google Docs form. Fill out that form and I will be calling everybody that filled out that form personally. Andrew, we already got 400 people. It's going to be a very long day the day liquefy launches week long week yeah. right <laughs> yeah. right a huge congratulations on that really excited for you uh greatly appreciate you and the team here at general rv i also greatly appreciate all of you out there on youtube subscribing to my channel and matt's channel congrats on 200k subs by the way hey so, by the time this is out probably congrats uh, we'll to see. you we're getting close hey huh? andrew's about to pass me i'm so glad i beat him to 200k because there's no way I'm beating him to 300. Oh, it's he all has too good. too much momentum. Oh, all good. But we really appreciate all of you out there and hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Beep, 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 beep.